Welcome to part five of competency 18. In this video, we will discuss prediction errors. Okay, since the last video, I've decided that we need more practice with per, uh, percent prediction error. Uh, you never know what you're gonna see and how it's gonna be worded. And I was a little unsatisfied with the, some of the basic vocabulary given in our study guide, okay? So, well, various study guides. I did a little research for it for you. Okay, so I came up with this model. Now, this is exactly like the model I had with the y minus your y hat, divide by y hat, and then you can multiply by 100. However, there were some words put with it. Not exactly a fan. If you go back and look at the words I had, they look backwards in a way. That is because that depends on where your Y and Y hat are, which way you're subtracting, because it is absolute value. So let's make it clear. And I'll clarify this. Here they say predicted. I don't like those words because that's not exactly true. When we go through these problems, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is more like a given, a given value, or it's a value from trials, a value, let's call it value of trials. You tried something out after you had your model. You got your model, you tried it out, and the numbers were different. And you want to see what your area is, okay? Now let's go over here and talk about this word measured. Not a fan. And notice that this value is in your numerator and your denominator. Instead of measured, let's say that we would rather have the word here let me do this a little better oh well we'll see here there we go well I'm not sure why that's not stay that's not oh goodness not sure it says it should oh now it goes away that sounds like my day okay and it's gonna write Let's, I need some more room. Let's call that accepted. That is what we're going to accept. It is a value. It's from our model. We're using our model. And anything that comes on, on that line that we've got modeling our data, we're kind of accepting it. Is it actual? No. But that's my problem. I'm saying most of the resources call this measured or accepted. But a few very elementary questionable sources were calling this, where you see the blue, they're calling it actual. I'm not sure that I agree with that in all circumstances, maybe in some circumstances. Okay, let's move on so you see what I'm talking about. Okay, now here's our model, and this is the 93 degrees that we had from before. If you remember in the last video, we did this model, we went through this, this was correct, and then we came up with an error. All right, so let me, we don't need to put in all the data, by the way, we have a model. So we're going to go to, and I already have our model put in. Okay, you enter it in now. I don't have to back out of this, this particular window. I can do my second graph and that gets us to the table. Now, I wanna show you how I got it to pop to 92. I literally entered 92 where it says table, that means table start, push enter, nothing happens. Remember that. You actually have to go back to your table. Now we're at the, the 92, my X value, so my, my model says it should be 92.2. Now, if you remember what we did, we did this 93 minus, 
what our model gives us, which is the y hat, okay? And then divide by, again, our accepted or measured. Remember, our model is our accepted. Okay, now let's go second mode. We have to back out of that one. Okay, so I have 93 minus 92 minus 2. And I push enter, divide by 92.2, enter. Okay, and you can go ahead and move the decimal or multiply by 100, doesn't matter. And what did we get? We have actually 80. 0.86, 186 of a percent, which is less than, may I point out, less than 1%, okay? So that tells you, we'll put equal there and it all works out. All right, well, actually equal would not be the good one. I can say that implies, that's better. Okay, so that gives you a good idea of where I'm going, and let's further our examples. Okay, number one, a student measured the mass of an object to be 187 grams, but the accepted mass, it was 170. What was the student's percentage error? Okay. This is why I don't like that word measured. You notice in the model how it looked. Here, let's go back. In this word problem, they say measured. But in a lot of the models, they use the y hat as measured. That's not what they're doing here. They're using measured with the predicted. No. You have to be careful. You have to look at the situation. The situation is the student measured the object, the student's value, they're a student. And students make mistakes all the time. This is why we call them a student. So what do, you, what do I have to do here? I have the 187 minus the 170, all divided by the 170. The 170 is the accepted measure. Let's say, the day before, three teachers measured that, and they say 170. So we're going to go with 170 because those are three adults doing it. A little kid comes along. They're laughing. They're giggling. They're distracted. They got 187. They probably aren't correct, so what's their Okay, this is how we're going to do that. And then, anyway, that's how I think of it. Here, that sounds pretty textbook to me. Okay. So let's do this. 187 minus your 170. And you notice how, oops, how I am going through in just doing the inner. And then I'm going to divide. I'm push, going and pushing the buttons. That's because it's actually faster times 100. And then I don't have to worry about my order of operations. I do each thing as the operation goes. And it is D. 10%. Fabulous. Okay. Number two, a student calculates the density of a rock to be 2.2 grams and the accepted value is 2.7. What is the percentage error? Okay. Oh, percentage error to the nearest tenth value. Make sure you're looking at the end down there and catch these things. And if they have a special note, because that's going to change our answer on this one. Well, I guarantee you. And then also, look at what's going on here. We have an absolute value thing. Oops. Okay. And, and then times our 100. And then we have to look at our place value. Okay, not a problem, right? Instead of worrying about absolute value, I'm just going to flip that. So I'm going to say 2.7 minus 2.2 equals divided by 2.7. Okay, enter times my 100. And okay, looking at my tens value, we can't use this one because it's not rounded. It says to the nearest 
and you think they won't do that to you on a test, I've seen it happen. Maybe not the state test, but if you're taking one of those university practice tests, I they, they love doing that, and it's so annoying. I think that's just unvalid practice, but my opinion, I'm being bitter, sorry. Okay, just watch out for it. Don't get caught in their trap. Okay, so we got here. A student determines the value of a cubic crystal to be 7.6 cubic centimeters. Okay, the correct volume is, okay, so there's our given. There's our accepted crystal is 7.5 find the percentage error and they're not doing any tenths value hundred so we're all good there okay so let's do the 7.6 i know i'm doing more by by writing it out in the next one i won't write it out actually if i'm going to write it out i could do it like this you can just punch it in the calculator that way let's try it Okay, if you like this better, I mean, it's up to you. You're the one taking the test and punching the buttons. It's all up to you. If you get something weird, just punch it in the way I do. Okay, and then, oh, you know what? I don't like this, and I'll tell you why. Well, I could just say times 100. Okay, because I'd have to have more parentheses if I wanted to divide by that. But now I divide. And I see, see what I did? I could have put it all in at once, but I didn't. Oh, here's why they didn't ask for tenths place or something else. They have got a repeated value, and I do hope you know what that is. If you see that 0.3333 or the 0.666, you should recognize that automatically is one third. This value is incorrect because it is terminating, continuing to the continuation repeated of the three is equivalent to the one third. It is not equivalent, obviously you cannot round down and this one terminates also. Oh, sorry. You can't, that, they're just not equivalent. They're absolutely not the same number. My eraser is just saying, I don't like you today, but I got it marked out so it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, just be careful about those those little tricks they give you on the numbers. I don't know if, if a, the state test will do that. I've seen it before. Number four, a student measures the volume of a piece of rock to be 25 grams and the accepted value, okay, we got our 25, and our accepted is 19. All right, and then they want the percent error. Okay, so let's do 25 minus 19. Okay, then we're going to divide by the 19 and then multiply by the 100. Okay, 31. And there's only one option, and you see how they automatically round it. Okay, you know, I think sometimes these tests put in these rounded things because we're supposed to be educators that should automatically see that. I think it's tricky, you know, but see their point. Okay, let's see. Five. A student determined the volume of an object is 8.6 centimeters. What was her percentage error if the correct volume of the object is, well, it says 8.0, but that's 8. So let's put our 8.6 minus the 8 and then divide by 8 okay and then times you can already see what the answer is okay 7.5 yep see this is what i was talking about if you don't think about the hundred or moving the decimal you could easily get stuck with b or you could look over and your eyeballs cross because you're tired and pick 75. Now, D, I don't, I'm not believing that one because it doesn't even round correctly. But I could see someone picking these because you're just tired. So doing the times 100 
that'll help save your brain power and your eyeballs during a test. Okay, number six. What would the percent error be if a person predicted, see, those, there are those words predicted. Remember that other question they had? Yeah, be careful. That Think of that more like being a given. That's our given, okay? Predicted that 38 jelly, jelly beans, let's see, in a container. Okay, let me read that again. What would the percentage error be if a person predicted predicted that were, that there were 38 jelly beans in a container, but when they were counted, it was found that there were actually 40 beans in the bottle. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 40 minus 38. Remember, it's absolute value, so I can do that and enter. Now, but I have to divide by the 40. Okay, now don't watch out. Don't pick that number. Remember, if I do times 100 or move your decimal over, we just get a plain five, so it's not these. Careful, careful. Okay, that's our last question, and I'm glad I added this in. I'm hoping it made things clearer for you, and I truly appreciate you watching. I hope that this is going to help you, and I hope you make a great grade on your test. If you like our videos, could you consider giving us a thumbs up or at least subscribing because there will be many more to come. Thank you.